Hey folks, and welcome to part 12 of the Ape Escape playthrough. Ow, my hand is killing me. Um, story behind that, folks, is that <laughs> I was trying to fix my Wii because my Wii is currently not working. I know all my consoles are messed up. But anyway, um, I tried to unscrew the little covering part, uh, with the screwdriver I got, but a piece of the screwdriver's metal got stuck in my hand, and... I didn't have any tweezers at the time so what I had to do was get some scissors and ply that metal out of my hand and now my hand is killing me but anyway besides that interesting point yeah part 12 of the Ape Escape playthrough uh, won't be messing with my Wii uh, trying to fix it for a while I don't I'm missing a, uh, a screwdriver needed to take care of the rest of the component or I might just uh, buckle down and take it to a shop I don't know they might have the uh, necessary parts to fix it i was just trying to save a few bucks here on my end but yeah folks this place right here is kind of dark and gloomy reminds me a little bit of the um the ll uh the la lore you know like the um the old school black and white kind of picturesque uh yeah it reminds me of that a little bit so yeah this place is uh all kinds of jazzy and cute including the music so that's good here on um my part because i kind of like jazzy music a little bit but yeah folks this stage right here is gonna be pretty much taking up the majority of the part um because it is long quite lengthy so uh sit back relax and enjoy as far as uh i can tell i'm gonna be enjoying this because uh this stage right here i like this stage right here as well and I'm coming up on my fails. <laughs> but anyway, folks, how are you doing for this week? I'm doing fantastic. Um, got a new um, job, a uh, new position and job. So uh, kind of a job change. But um, all is well, all is good. So um, that's going to be messing with my uploading schedule a little bit. So um, you might have to catch um, these parts in the morning because that's what I'm going to try to upload it in the morning or if I can't do it in the morning it'll be late night like really late night because um, I'm working those long hours again so I'm not working morning time anymore um, I'm doing the afternoon shift so I don't get home to really late in the evening so um, yeah so expect the channel to have a little bit of a backlog as far as you know it comes to that but otherwise than that um the channel's still going to be doing strong. Um, look forward to those Mugen playthroughs and whatnot. Um, I'm going to keep dishing those out, so I hope you folks are enjoying those as well. And yeah, you little thief. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you folks are enjoying the Mugen fights because I like um, <laughs> I like uh, playing them, so I hope you are enjoying what I put up. Um, this stage right here does have a little um, cart section. So I'm gonna be editing that out, so uh, you folks won't have to be, so you folks won't have to go through um, that once more. We have a couple of monkeys here. See them, they lounging around, but I'll be able to end that pretty quickly. Um, yeah. Otherwise than that, um, yeah, I'm doing good, folks. And once again, I hope you folks are doing good this week too. Uh, hope you, uh, those who are in school, hope you're doing good. I think your report cards come out. Well, at least down here, I know they come out this week. Um, at the time of this recording anyway, so I don't know um, Do when like uh, do you get your guys like because um, I know some people get theirs um, Before Thanksgiving uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, and I guess their bad grades just ruined their holiday uh, They're either be uh, grounded or probably just grounded or banned from watching like uh, oh, Not watching but being in um, in electronics. I guess that got to be a real kick in the balls um for kids these days i don't know growing up it was different for us man it was either um it was either be grounded or take the belt it was <laughs> and nine times out of ten we took the belt because uh that was quicker it was a one-time deal other than um being grounded for a week or so so yeah we you know it was it was it was an easier time back then um now these days uh they're either um get grounded or take away the electronics or a combination of the two so yeah <laughs> yeah it's simpler now and my hand is just killing me ah oh, that metal man it, it wasn't like a, a giant piece of metal it was just like a 
little thin piece of metal, small piece of metal just launched into my hand. And it's just killing me right now. I was thankful I was able to get it out with the scissors because um, if I w wasn't able to get it out with the scissors, I don't know what I'll be able to do. It'll probably still be stuck in there, but <laughs> yeah, just keeping things interesting or trying to keep things interested um, because this part right here, like I stated before, it's just uh, me being in this general area, which is like a, a ship heart or somewhat, if I'm even saying that right, but um, yeah, folks, you're not going to see much of uh, me chasing these monkeys around because uh, number one, it's a shorter track than the other one, so you're not going to be able to, um, well, you well, let me put this in better words. You're not going to be sitting through such a long part of me just chasing these things around um, like I was in the previous part. So, um, basically, what I was doing is just showing off showing off the track here. What um, I wanted to show off this track right here. Just uh, the racetrack right here. And, yeah. <laughs> it took me a while to catch this guy. Um he was just being ridiculous and I decided to edit that out because it would be boring to you folks to see that whole thing through so I just wanted to edit that out right quick and I'm not doing so but remember um, if you want to pretty much catch these monkeys faster if you see them coming your way what you could do is just turn around and you can meet them on a sort of collision course of course uh, Grand Theft Auto got me a little paranoid with this because um, Grand Theft Auto 5 was the first GTA game to like when you crash into a car you go flying out uh, for those of you who play uh, Grand Theft Auto know what I'm talking about yeah my first time playing um, GTA I was like whoa because I wasn't expecting that because the previous GTA um, you know you don't go flying out the car like that of course I haven't played um the only GTA I haven't had hands-on experience with myself was um, GTA 4. I haven't played any alliteration of GTA 4, but I played all the other Grand Theft Autos, um, except for the first and second one. So I played um, the third one, which my cousin had at the time, which I didn't know what the heck Grand Theft Auto was back in the uh, early 2000s. Yeah, um, she had that. She had such... A great game, a great library of PlayStation 2 games. She really did, and that's where I got most of my PlayStation 2 experience from. Um, from her, um, I didn't get a PlayStation 2 until I want to say 2002, when it was still kind of relevant. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I played uh, GTA 3. Um, GTA Vice City, which I do have a personal copy of that myself, well, along with GTA and Liberty City Stories, which is pretty much based on GTA 3. And I have Vice City, I have Vice City, Vice City Stories, which is based upon um, GTA Vice City. And I have San Andreas, um, which looks gorgeous on the Xbox and PC version, I believe. Um, looks better than the uh, PS2 version but um yeah I have those as far as like my GTA and I have of course Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PlayStation 3 if you guys want to see like a playthrough of that um, let me know and I can get that started for you folks of course that probably won't be for some time now I don't know I have to see but if you guys want to see something like that, um, let me know. Eventually, I'll put it on the channel, you know. So, uh, have forward to look to that. Also, um, I might have mentioned this before, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it again just in case. Um, we do have a, um, we are eventually going to be playing Persona 5 for the channel. I don't know if, um, I'm not going to be playing that, of course. Um, I'm going to be like the backseat driver on that one. Um, D's going to be playing that. It might be his, um first playthrough on his own for the channel so uh he's getting pretty hyped about that um i was thinking about doing um i don't know if he wants to do it but i was thinking about doing um persona 4 before doing um persona 5 that way um with persona 5 i mean excuse me with persona 4 
we could give kind of uh, some generalization of what's going on because um, he has Persona 4 for the um, for the Vita, but I don't know if there's any recording software for the Vita. I'll have to um, eventually look into that. I think it is though. I don't see why not. Um, it's probably gonna it's probably not gonna be that hard to find at all. Um, I do plan on upgrading. And I know this seems like a, a <laughs> I'm sorry about this, this seems more of an update video than the actual video, but um, I just kind of wanted to get this out there for you folks. Um, I do um, want to pretty much upgrade to an Elgato. Um, D keeps saying every time I mention that, he keeps mentioning cat. I know that's probably like the Spanish equivalent for that, but it starts to get irritating after a while. Um, so, <laughs> I want to go ahead and try to get into getting one of those, so eventually, you know, bring in more high quality videos for you folks, because I'm looking into this capture I got, and it's not as qual high quality as I thought it would be, so I want to go ahead and um, eventually upgrade for you folks with that, so, and I'll be getting um, pretty much another computer, so I can um, just pump out videos continuously so that's gonna help out in the long run so yeah pretty much um that's pretty much what I want to do for the channel so I don't even have to make an upgrade um I'm sorry <laughs> I don't even have to make an update video I pretty much just did it with this part right here so um yeah but anyway yeah as we go into the multitudes of uh, areas that this game has to offer yeah, it's pretty much, we're coming pretty much, I want to say, around the halfway mark of this whole playthrough. So, and of course, um, as I did in previous um, playthroughs, I'm going to be showing off the mini games and such. Um, because I didn't do that at the time of this recording, I still have those in the back burner. Considering the fact if I get my PS2, if that's, um, if it's working, because I'm having issues with that as well. Because, uh... It is quite old, so, you know, it's about that time that it's dying. I'm going to get a brand new PS2 if I need to, but that'll be down the road. So, until then, that playthrough or minigame, if you don't see that, uh, it's because of that. So, yeah, but um, I'm not going to let that deter me. I do have a special playthrough um, in mind if the PS2 do work. Um gonna try to do a live commentary on that one um i think i don't want to spoil it just yet i want you folks to be surprised when i eventually play it it's gonna be a pl uh, blind playthrough because i don't know what i'm gonna be getting myself into um it's i'll give you folks a hint it's gonna be a bad game yeah it's gonna be a bad game and why did I spend any money on that well number one the um the little game flea market place I go to he saw that I got that game so I got it for dirt cheap uh because I told him that the price he had marked for it was outrageous for it because it because it was a bad game and I told him the price was outrageous for it so he did me a solid and lowered the price for it even with the lower price, it was still kind of outrageous. But I can't wait for you folks to see that. I can't wait to, you know, my my initial thoughts on it. Um, it's bad, but I want to see exactly what makes it bad. And I'm going to be finding that out pretty soon-ish. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully, um, if this job don't drain too much out of me, I'm going to be recording that pretty soon. So... Um, that's something to look forward to. So, <laughs> I hope you guys are looking forward to said bad game. But anyway, yeah, those monkeys over there are just having a ball. You gotta do in order to get to them is hit the switch right here. And of course, when you open the gate and get close to them, they're gonna take off. So it's best to equip yourself with a transformation if you want to take care of them real quick. Like, and this guy right here is just ah, uh, C2 for the price of one. Got one more to go. And see, we're almost close to the end of the part already. I haven't even realized it because I was talking a lot about on um, future updates and whatnot that. But the next part, I won't be doing that um, because during the next part, we're going to get something exciting. And it's going to be quite a lengthy part next part. But, you know, you folks are here for the ride. 
and my hand is just ah. Uh, I gotta stop talking about my hand, folks. And I do want to apologize for that because I just hit the microphone when I did that. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I really do gotta stop doing that. But um, anyway, folks, this place right here is pretty. Uh, as I stated before, it's pretty nice. Um, the music right here is catchy. It's kind of like a, a jazz, kind of like um, 1940s, 50s kind of feel. I wanna guess. He tried to jump but failed massively <laughs> he really did just try to jump out of the way but i got that quickness on the uh control stick <laughs> but um yeah that's gonna do it for this part the apinator and next part we're gonna go, go and get one of my favorite transformations in the game see ya